All right, Dom. What's next? Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. So this is the famous Suicide Squad. I'm Cruella. Let's go! Now, the Duke of BAFTA's first ever president, over 60 years ago, and was the first royal patron, a line that goes through all the way to BAFTA's current president, his grandson, the Duke of Cambridge. It was Prince Philip and Her Majesty the Queen's support throughout these years that in many ways has allowed BAFTA, a leading charity in the arts, to continue in difficult times and still be here today in 2021. And thank you so much for this award. Uh, Every award is meaningful, but this one, especially recognized by British people, known as very snobbish people, and they <laughs> approve me as a good actor. So I'm very, very privileged and happy. And thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the voter. Ricky Bakri. Thank you to my parents, my mum that's here. Um, thank you for doing everything for me. Thank you to my brothers you, with the Black Sopranos. Thank you for setting the bar for me. Thank you to, um, thank you to the Rocks family for showing me what it means to live a life. Frances McDormand for Nomadland. <laughs> now, we've just received this message via carrier pigeon from Frances, who is somewhere in the wilds of North America. And she says, Thank you, dear British people. I humbly accept this honor on behalf of the Nomadland tribe and company. We salute you. Long may we roll. Sir Anthony Hopkins for the father. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins is unable to be with us, but Florian Zeller, the writer of the father, will uh, collect on his behalf. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not Anthony Hopkins, but he, he's very sorry not to be with us tonight. And he sent me this message um, so that I can read it to you. My heartfelt thanks to everyone who participated in the making of The Father, extraordinary screenplay and cast and crew. No Madland. Um. Thank you, BAFTA again. Thank you so much. Um, we would like to dedicate this award to the uh, nomadic community who so generously welcomed us into their lives. Um, they shared with us their dreams, their struggles, and their deep sense of dignity. Thank you for showing us that aging is a beautiful...